dong in the woods. <laughs> Wasn't sure of the lady. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge breaks new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. Torches to burn bright. Seeing she hangs upon the cheek of night, like a rich jewel in an Ethiop's ear. Oh, beauty too rich for use, for earth too dear. So shows a snowy dove trooping with crows. Is yonder lady all her fellow shows? <laughs> Did my heart love till now? <laughs> for swear at sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. <laughs> if I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. shows in this, for saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch. From palm to palm, it's holy palmers this. Have saints not lips and holy palmers too? I pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Then let lips do what hands do. They pray. Oh, saints do not move, though for prayer's sake. Then move not, or my prayer's effect I take. Thus, from my lips, I vow, I see this purge. And have my lips the sin that they have took? Sin from my lips? Who oh, trespass and really urge? Give me my sin again. <laughs> Again, bright angel. Romeo. Romeo. Uh, why art thou named Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Tis but thy name that is my name. Thou art 
thyself, though, not a Montague. What is Montague? It is neither hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor <laughs> any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's the name? That which we call a rose. Like any other name, we smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, still retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo? Doth thy name, and for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. <gasps> Call me but love, and I shall be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that dost be screamed in nights of stumbles from my counsel? With love's light wings, have I perched these walls. Wrong. With a name I know not. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I myself. Take your name I know not how to tell thee who I am. For my name, dear saint, is hateful to myself. Because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written? I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that toy utterance, and yet I know the sound. But then I'm Romeo, and a Montague. I'm the fair maid, and I may be this one. Uh, how camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and a place death, considering who thou art, and my kinsmen should find thee here. Walls like winds have I pushed these walls. Good.
it is. Okay. Is that from Zinfeld? Hmm? Is that from Zinfeld? No, never mind. Sunset Boulevard, Gloria Swanson. As you was. Well, that be gone. It was not a new day. It was the nightingale, and not the lark that pierced the fearful hole of the mirror. The nightingale, she sings on your pomegranate tree. Honey, love, it was the nightingale. It was the lark. The held of the morn, the nightingale. Good. She divided us. Good. Oh, I'll be gone. I'll be gone. The more light and light it grows. Freeze. Go. More light and light it grows. More dark and dark our woes. Stay with thee. And never from this dim palace. This palace of dim night. Depart again. Here I will remain. With worms that are thy chamber maids. <laughs>
dose of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss a dateless bug into engrossing death. Here's to my love. of this lamentable chance. The lady stirs.
blooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head, for there never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo.